This is the Ibanez Gem Junior, basically a cheaper version of the Ibanez uh, 7P. Just a regular RG or a unique guitar that has a, an added value? Let's find out. First of all, let's look some specs together, okay? The guitar comes in white and in black. Yeah, badass too. I prefer white. So this is a spec from the official site, uh, wizard free maple neck, so like a regular RG in the uh, standard RG range, uh, Maranti body, Jatoba fretboard with three all life inlay, so it's not a real rosewood, uh, it seems rosewood but it's not, and in my opinion the rosewood is a little creamy in terms of feeling under your fingers. Jumbo fret, 24, of course, a Zabon locking bridge, so it's not an uh, Ibanez edge, edge 0, edge, edge 02, etc. So it's a, a generic Zabon locking bridge and that's a point that is really focal. String space 10.5 millimeter. Neck middle bridge pickup, the Quantum series from Ibanez. They are stock, stock pickups. It's not the Infinity series that are the first uh, choice, the most economical choice uh, in terms of stock uh, Ibanez pickup. This is the second choice, of course, in standard tuning. The neck dimension, a uh, typical uh, configuration by Ibanez, so 25.5 scale. Uh, the radius 400 millimeter, so really flat. Five way switch, classic unbucker, split unbucker and middle middle split uh, unbucker middle bridge okay that was the spec uh, maybe we can check out the uh, ibanez 7p the premium one to compare okay so it says premium on the headstock the hardware is gold and even the the line of the tree it's in gold and the neck is a wizard, not wizard free. It's uh, more comfortable, in my opinion. It's more, uh, uh, you know, shred like. Uh, the body is alder, the fretboard is ebony. Really great. Jumbo frets, premium fret edge treatment. So there's no sprout or anything. I must say, even to the junior, it's not so bad, of course. The bridge is the edge, original edge tremor bridge. The pickups are uh, the Marcio Evolution signature of uh, Steve Vai, of course. Uh, same uh, uh, switching system. So uh, basically, you pay for the uh, aesthetic, uh, you know, gold and white for the pickups, uh, for the neck, and for the bridge. So let's hear some tune. I begin to play in standard tuning, clean uh, settings, then dirt settings. And then uh, with the drop pedal, I will uh, uh, lower the tuning so to um, D, C, and B. I forget to mention that the input jet is really comfortable, it stays in this position, especially if you are wearing a strap, of course.
Okay, now that you are uh, heard how the guitar sounds and the problem with the bridge, of course, uh, let's compare it to an uh, Ibanez standard RG. Okay, so this is the standard, and I want to check out the RG 350DXZ. So basically, the same guitar. The difference are only basically aesthetic monkey grip, the um, lion claw on the um, Floyd Rose, uh, Trio Life, of course. Same specs, all the same specs, but the only difference is the bridge. On the RG350, uh, there is uh, an Edge 02 with ZPS3FE bridge system, okay. And this is the same bridge I have on my RG uh, Action level, so the next level of RG because there is a GRG, Joe series, a really economic, really cheap RG standard. Then we got the Action label, Iron label, we have the Premium, the Prestige, and the J Custom. So the iron label is uh, between the standard and the premium. So have uh, some elements from premium and some elements from standard. And you know, this bridge over here, it's the same. It's an Edge 02 with uh, the system, the SP, S3, etc. That basically when you bend one string, the bridge don't uh, follow the bending of that string. It is more stable. I can really go up and down, abuse this bridge, and nothing happens. It stains into perfectly. So I'm navigating uh, Tuman, and the price for the Gem Junior is 529. Okay. So if I compare to another RG, for instance, uh, Tuman doesn't have the 350, but I have the 320. Okay. It's basically the same, but it's the same price. And as you can see, uh, this guitar got the Edge 02, so why Ibanez, why put a lower quality bridge on a signature guitar that costs the same of uh, a standard RG? Basically, you are paying for the aesthetic, but you got a lower quality, a lower spec guitar Overall, the guitar is a good guitar, of course. It's uh, an Ibanez standard RG, so the quality is there for the price. Of course, I am uh, an Ibanez fanboy, as you may know. <laughs> it plays well. The Wizard 3 is not my favorite uh, uh, Ibanez neck. I prefer the Nitro Wizard, the Super Wizard, the Wizard, the, or the original Wizard, and so on. The Quantum pickups are okay, they're worth the price. Of course, if you want more articulation, more, uh, more harmonics, uh, more response, and all this kind of stuff, uh, you have to swap for some DiMarzio, some Simon Duncans, and so on. The guitar is relatively light. It's really comfortable to bring the guitar around with the monkey grip, and the uh, input jack feature is really is really great. My only concern, as I said before, is the bridge. Other brands like uh, uh, LTD, LTD makes the Kirkamet model. So you are a fan of Kirkamet, you want the same guitar, and you pay more for that guitar because there's uh, uh, his signature on it on the headstock the skull and bone uh, uh, inlays and on this kind of stuff if you purchase an ltz m or m8 is the same guitar with the same specs but uh, without the skull bone and all this kind of stuff okay and it's fine because you are a fan of the of the guitar player and you want the same guitar and you have to pay that it's okay it's totally okay i'm fine with that so we have a guitar that looks really good because it's a gem it's really a gem it's, it's really great with the trim lays monkey grip and so on but one element of the guitar that is really really important it's really really focused for me in a guitar with tremolo bridge is lacking quality and uh, 
that move is not so great because I will not purchase again a Gem Junior. So in conclusion, I would recommend this guitar only to Steve I fans who don't have the budget to get the premium version or who wants to upgrade the Junior at least by changing the bridge or having a tech do a setup and hope for the best because you, you know in this uh, quality, low quality, China made, uh, Floyd Rose, listen said, uh, and so on, you never know. Thanks a lot for watching this video, give me a thumbs up for the algorithm, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I hope to bring to the channel uh, uh, more gear, more guitars, and so on. See you the next time, and take care.